Photo Tutorial 101 by Studio JPEG. Hi, this is JP LaForest from Studio JPEG. In this episode, I will show you how to take a photo in full automatic mode with a DSLR camera. Now, it's a common misconception that DSLR cameras are very complicated to use. They can be a bit imposing and intimidating to the first time users of them. But they do, most of them offer an automatic mode and it's going to work exactly the same way as your old point and shoot camera did work. The only difference is you will have to uh, manually zoom in or out on the lens itself and I have a video where I show how to do that. But other than that, the functions of the camera are very similar to something that you have used in the past, I'm very sure, either a point of truth camera or even a cell phone. It's very simple. There are some more advanced modes which we're going to see in further videos. But to start out with, the automatic mode is actually quite perfect to get acquainted with your camera and just get familiar with it. All right, so each camera is going to be a little different, but pretty much all the point and shoot and DSLR, DSLM and all that cameras uh, have a dial on top somewhere where you can select the mode of the camera. So in this case, we want to take a picture on automatic mode. So I put the little green square here, which is the Canon symbol for full auto. And then I'm going to turn on the camera. I'm going to remove the lens cap in front of the camera and then I'm going to press by half to focus first as I showed in the previous video and then I'm going to take the picture. So by pressing by half you're going to also notice that the flash most likely will pop up. So you can see that the flash popped up because the camera determines there's not enough light where the camera is pointed at and then when I press the camera fully it's going to take a picture and the flash is going to fire off and all that is done automatically the camera knows how to expose and all that and usually it gives you a pretty okay image in further videos I'll show you how to use the other modes of the cameras to get even more amazing results but for the moment that's actually quite fine now another mode which I really like, which is right next to it, is the no flash mode. And again, each camera could have it set up differently. I recommend you look in your manual to find it out. But it's the same thing as the automatic mode, except you're telling the camera do not use a flash. So if you're in a concert where you're not allowed to use a flash in some weddings, or in other dark places in museums and things like that where you're not allowed to use a flash then this way you can press and then take a picture and the camera will compensate using other methods either with the shutter speed, the aperture, ISO and all sorts of stuff that we're gonna learn in further videos. So that's really all there is to it. At this point I do recommend you try it out I did a video to show how to focus. I recommend you do that. And then you take some pictures in auto mode to get used to using your camera. And after you, you're familiar with auto mode, then you can move on to the other modes. A lot of cameras, they have some different scene modes. Like the TTY here has some basic ones. It has, uh, this is the portrait mode which means that the camera is going to configure itself by itself. You don't have to do anything else. You just put it in portrait and it's going to set itself up to take better portraits. And the uh, same thing with landscape, close-up shots, sports shots, and night portraits. Now we're going to see in further videos how to do all of that manually using the other modes uh, on the camera such as the manual, the aperture priority and the shutter speed priority. But for now, just focus on the automatic mode and that's going to be enough. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Photo Tutorial 101 Take Control of Your Camera. 
If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And don't forget to check out the other videos on this channel, and especially the Photo Tutorial 101 series. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the box below. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.